Hello everyone. Welcome to the 18th video of the Titanic Solution series. In this video, we are going to build a random forest. Then we are going to tune the hyperparameters using grid search and then submit it to Kaggle and see what score we get. While we are doing that, we'll also select certain best variables using select K best for the modeling process. And then we'll compare the same model using all the variables in the Titanic data set that we have. You'll also note that basic we have created all the features within Excel itself and we're going to import those two data sets, the train and test data set within Python and build the model directly without doing any missing value treatment or uh, doing any feature engineering because all of it is done on Excel already. In case you want to watch the video, please do watch some of the previous videos in the series and you'll know how we have done the feature engineering. So let's get started. Let's start by importing pandas. Then I'm going to import the train and test. Please note that all the features are already created within this, right? So we're just going to run random forest and see how that accuracy or the leaderboard stacks up when we submit it to the Kaggle Titanic competition. Once the train and test data sets are imported, I'm going to divide the train data set into X and Y. So once I run both of these, you'll see that now I want to select certain best variables within the train data set. For that, we are basically using the select K best from the sklearn feature selection library. Along with it, we are taking a chi square because this is the score that will be helping us select the best variables. Now, we're just checking what the X variables look like and we have roughly around 44 variables for which we need to select only 30 of them, right? So how do we do that? I do select feature is equal to select K best and I give the chi square that we imported, right, comma, and I say k is equal to 30, which means I want 30 variables out of the 44 variables for building this model, right? And then we say dot fit x, y, and then basically this gets us a list of 30 variable names that we could use for our modeling process. For us to be use, using it, what we're going to do is we're going to create another variable called select bool, which will hold a true or false value for us to pass it to the columns argument within the X data set and get the selection from that particular train data set. So if I say X dot columns selection bool, basically it's giving me all these 30 variables that I need to be using for my modeling, right? So if I had to look at the, the selected variables data set, it's going to be looking like this, right? So obviously P class, fair, age, all of these known variables are there on top and rest of the other variables are also available. Notice we have 30 features for this particular modeling process. So let's go ahead now. And now we're going to basically divide the same train data set that we have into train and test so that we could build a model on certain portion of the data and test our accuracy on certain portion of the data and see how well we are performing, right? So whole idea is to maintain a balance between the train and test so that we could get the best model possible. Next, we are now going to import the random forest classifier from the sklearn.ensemble and then declare an instance with n estimators is equal to 100. So once we have the instance, we can fit the random forest model dot fit x train comma x y. Now on the train data set, the train data set of the ones that we created here, we are basically creating a model on that, right? Now, once we created the model, you'll see there are a lot of hyperparameters that we could tune. And let's go ahead and tune some of these hyperparameters in the random forest model. So moving forward, now let's do the grid search. We are going to import the grid search CV from sklearn.model selection. From it, we are going to define the hyperparameters that the random forest model uses. First, we'll begin with n estimators. We'll do around 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, and 100. Criterion, guinea or entropy, max depth, these numbers, max features, auto or square root, minimum sample split should be two, four, six. Now, once we define the parameters, we are going to do a grid search CV on it by declaring an instance of random forest classifier with n jobs minus one and out of back score is equal to false. We're just going to have these two parameters there and none of the other hyperparameters will be available here. In the parameter grid, we are going to give parameters 
these are the parameters that are available and then say cross validation is equal to three and verbose is equal to true so we do that and then go ahead and fit the model right so if i say the random forest grid right this is where the grid search cv is declared i say random forest grid dot fit on the train data set and i basically have this random grid model random forest grid model available to me right there are around 360 combinations that we can get out of all the parameters that we have here and since we have cross validation to be three we are getting around 1080 fits for this particular example now i know this is a small number or maybe a large number depending on how the data set is but the idea here is to keep it short uh, and obviously you can play around with this hyperparameters to reach to a better fit than the one that i'm currently showing right so it's up to you to play around with the parameters here and see how well you could fit the random forest model so with 1080 fits in this particular example it takes 3.7 minutes for my laptop to finish running all these models and then we can now see which are the best estimators for this particular random forest model right so if you notice here these are the n estimators that we give now let's look at n estimators first right so it's saying 100 is the best so you know we might want to consider exceeding 100 and see if there are any other best estimators coming in within it then we have the criterion here guinea is used right so 100 from here guinea from here then we have uh, max depth is equal to 7 that's where this is here and the max features is going to be square root and minimum sample split is going to be two right so this is the best estimator that we got and the best score that we got from the, all of the models that are there here is 0 0.82 which is not that bad considering the trend that we are seeing from the rest of the modeling techniques that we used earlier so moving forward i'm just going to basically now take all of these parameters and put it into another instance of random forest classifier right because it's the best model and i'm going to run this particular model and fit it again the same model will be fitted right and now then we'll use this particular uh, model to see how well we did against our test data set right now this is not the test that we want to submit to kaggle but this is the set that we kept apart when we selected certain portions for training now i'll take all the x variables keeping in mind the 30 variables that i have used so you'll see that shape is 268 rows and 30 columns so this is retained then i'm going to take the model that we recently built the best one that we built and predict the selected x variables on the test data set right so if i do the predict on this particular test data set you'll notice that the test score is around 0.85 and the train score is around 0.88 so we have a accuracy of 0.88 with a test accuracy of 0.85 which is not a bad model considering our scenario and seeing the past models that we have built okay so let's go ahead and uh, you know create the submission data set and submit it to kaggle right i've already submitted it to kaggle it's the selection variable video random forest dot csv and it sort of gave a score of seven eight nine four seven seven eight nine four seven or you know eight whatever it is right so closely around this particular thing it's it's giving that score right so obviously it's an improvement over the tree models that we have built in the previous video and you know we've started basically at somewhere around 0 0.76 or 75 and then now we are almost nearing 8 right so we are around 0 0.78 uh, and if you just put you know push a little bit further we'll be able to cross the 0 0.8 accuracy mark so that's how we build a random forest model and we've uh, basically done a grid search to tune the hyperparameters and get the best parameters to build a random forest model what i'm going to do is for a testing purpose i'm going to take all the variables within the titanic data that we have uh, and the features that we created 
and run another model and see if we can bump up the accuracy uh, with the same hyperparameters that we have, we have used in this particular model. Thank you for watching this video guys. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.